Barnes, our previous company was an assessment technology company, uh, Harvard. And obviously we have a big network in that space. And today clients and people in our network ask us the question, how is AI going to change the assessment space? Uh, and I wanna ask you this question on this episode, how do you think AI will impact the assessment space? Yeah, good, uh, good question. I, I also got in a lot of conversation, this topic pop up, pops up, right? I mean, we left the assessment space, but the assessment space didn't leave us. So um, <laughs> it's like Hotel California. Now, yeah, I, I had a lot of thoughts around this. And I think, um, well, we, we, we've been in a company that innovated the assessment uh, space. Eh? We all know the traditional assessments like personality and cognitive assessments. And we introduced these more serious gaming um, assessments like realistic job preview assessments. And I think if I look back, that all started because we asked the question, um, isn't traditional assessment the best way to solve a problem? And the problem is to see if there is a fit between a human being and, and, and a job. And, we th and, and back then at Harvard, we thought, no, it's, it's, it's not the best possible solution. In the current state of technology, there is a better way. And that resulted in, in realistic job reviews and realistic job uh, testing. And yeah, I think for, for context, that we were specialized in high volume hiring especially in the assessment, assessing for low complexity, high volume positions. Exactly. Yeah. Where the more traditional personality assessments, for example, yeah, yeah it, 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 it didn't work. No. And it's interesting because if you look at assessments um, today, fundamentally, they're not different than 60 years ago. Like 60 years ago, it was a questionnaire with multiple choice questions. And then, well, you, 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 you gave answers and there was a little calculation done and then you get your scoring yeah, today it's online and it's digital and it's a beautiful user interface but under the hood it's it's still the same and a lot of organizations they use assessments um, because we always did right of course we use an assessment and sometimes we forget to think you know is this is, is it a means to a different end or is the goal in itself? And it looks like assessments are now a goal in itself. And I think, and that's interesting, with AI, you have so many new options to match people with skills, to match people with roles, to match people with culture, that maybe this, this whole methodology of multiple choice questions is going to be obsolete in a few years. Yeah. Yeah, I fully agree. Can you give an example of a before situation where we worked with assessments, traditional assessments, and an after situation where AI could take the lead uh, or maybe replace it and maybe in the end strive for the same goal, but in a complete different way to get there. Yeah, absolutely. So imagine the goal is to see if somebody m matches a certain competence framework of, of a job. That's the goal. Yeah. Old reality, 30 multiple join questions with four different answer possibilities. You give 40 times an answer calculation score and then competence A, B, C, you got a score before reality. After reality, AI will bring you in a situation that mimic, really mimics the work experience or the work that you have to do. And instead of getting four always the same questions, you get into a chain of conversations with AI that can go way deeper, way more granular and way more tailored to the organization you have yeah. to work for. Yeah, I think the tailoring is really important, right? Because that's where AI is really good, the adaptivity of it. Yes, and that each answer can lead to, um, yeah, to new stories, that there is not one linear framework that's always the same. Yeah. And we, I mean, if you look at the assessment industry, we accepted this, right? Because there was no other way. That's why yeah. for 60 years we didn't innovate. We will see complete new methodologies moving yeah. forward. Well, now we go to the elephant in the room because especially this linear path obviously is also there because it has led in the past to validation of those frameworks. So how do we handle that? Because in the end, uh, assessments and to actually make it, um, make it a tool or a way to assess people and to make decisions on it, um, you need to have the validations on par. So how do you see that then? A big reason for validation is because it's not real life, right? Imagine I want to check if you can lift 50 pounds, right? That's imagine the challenge. Matthijs has to lift 50 pounds. 
The assessment methodology is I will measure your muscles. I will measure how long you are. I will ask what did you eat yesterday? I will ask how you feel. And then I will calculate if you can lift 50 pounds. There you need validation, right? Because if my math, math is wrong, then I say you can't lift 50 pounds, but actually you could. New reality. What if I just give you 50 pounds? I say, hey, lift it. And I say, hey, 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 it's lifted. So he can do it. That's the new reality of assessment. AI will take you not in yeah, a generic linear path of asking questions. It will give you an experience that checks, can you do the job? And that's why we used assessments in the first place. Yeah. So what do you think? Um, looking at traditional assessment companies and frameworks, will they be eaten by complete new companies or do you think they will adopt this? It depends on the company. If you're an innovative company, uh, you're already experimenting and you know there's a reality coming up. Well, we talked about the Kodak moment before, right? The, the, yeah. the photo uh, camera company that you know it's there, it's going to happen. If you embrace it, adopt it and, and make it work for you, you can accelerate, you can grow your company. Yeah, if you don't, yeah, then you will be the Nokia of the phone industry. Yeah, uh, it, it will be history. And the fun thing is, like anything in AI right now, it, it goes faster than expected. Uh, yeah. than, than than people will expect. Yeah. Well, and and if you compare, like the let's say the low complexity, high volume work, like for retail roles and call center jobs, if you compare that to like the more, I would say higher consideration roles where these assessments are used, for example, as a third step in an interviewing process to have a conversation after again about profiling of people. Do you see AI having a huge impact there too? So if you look at this low complexity hiring, it's easier to build something that checks if somebody can do the job. Yeah. So it's easier to utilize AI there. In the more high consideration of the spectrum, it's already a tool. An assessment is a tool that enables humans to have better conversations. Yeah. I think AI will also yeah, completely change the way you enable yourself to have better conversations. But yeah. it could well be that now there's one solution for everything, right? It's all called assessment. I think we get completely different, different tool sets for the different use cases. Because in yeah. the end, as we know, they're incomparable. Yeah. No, it, you know, to be honest, we, we, we talked about it before. If you would have our previous company today, we would have done it all differently. Like all the application process that we built for the largest companies in the world, uh, we would make it completely AI first. You can make it so much more attractive and fun for the applicant. And in the end, the match will be much more reliable uh, than it was oh, yeah. if you go to these linear processes, right? No, definitely. Um, you always try to solve a problem with the tools at hand, right? If, 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 you, if you have a hammer, then you treat everything like a nail. Well, our toolbox just got exponentially bigger. So yeah, facing the same challenges, we yeah. build different solutions. Yeah. Okay, Baron, thanks for this breakdown and uh, we talk soon.